Hello, video maniacs of all shapes, sizes, and colors. This is Practice Dummy. This video is kind of a follow-up of sorts after the two-part video series how I show you how to uh, mod or install mods for Star Wars Jedi Knight Dark Forces 2. Uh, what this video is going to show you how to do is to increase the frame rate a bit to help make the gameplay um, more smooth than it is. Um, for some reason, LucasArts made it to uh, this game to be a 30 frame per second game. And uh, this little trick involving a tool uh, will help increase that to around 46 frames a second for you know a good amount of the game. Some parts of the game will still dip back down into the 30 frames per second range, but any improvement is an improvement. Now, I need to apologize for those that have AMD graphics cards. This uh, trick won't work for that. Um, I have read that there's a, a trick you can use, uh, or excuse me, a tool you can use to do the same trick. Uh, I think it's called Riva Tuner um, that uh, should be able to do what I'm going to show in this video, what to do for those with NVIDIA graphics cards. So again, uh, this trick will only work with NVIDIA graphics cards. And my apologies to those that have AMD cards. Okay, the first thing you want to do is download the tool, which is called NVIDIA Inspector. So the link in the description below will take you to this uh, site right here. And all you have to do is scroll down and click one of these two links. Uh, well, this one's the more up-to-date one here. Uh, from the author's site. So you click on that and you go ahead and save that up. And then um, go ahead and uh, run the inspector uh, to you know get things set up. Once you got it installed, then um, go ahead and open up inspector. And then what you want to do is you want to come up here to this text box in the upper left, click, and to do it a little shortcut, hit the J key. And it'll take you right to the games uh, starting with J. And go and find where it says Jedi Knight Dark Forces 2 JK.exe. Ignore the JKDemo.exe. It's JK.exe is what you want. Click on that. And then it'll change, you know, the uh, values right here. Now the first thing you want to do, and I've already done so, is you click on the frame rate limiter and you want to change it to 46 frames a second. Once you've done that, the other thing you want to do is on vertical sync, you want to force off on the vertical sync. Uh, when you force on, it goes to 30 frames a second or even worse, as I found out uh, myself. But uh, change vertical, vertical sync to force off. Then afterwards, on the upper right, uh, click Apply Changes and you're all set and then you can go ahead and start up the game and you should have a um, smoother experience for the most part with the game again there's some parts of the game that the frame rate will still dip down to around 30 or maybe even less for that matter i have not played the game completely through to completely verify this but i played enough of it to know the uh, frame rate for the most part is smoother but there will still be dips but I hope this helps you out just the same to make uh, Star Wars Jedi Knight Dark Forces 2 a more enjoyable experience. Take care, one and all, and God bless you.